you will never find another love like mine one who loves you the way I do oh I'm not bragging on myself here baby but there's no one else there's no one else but you knew you Woo! you'll never find as long as you live one who cares about you the way you know you do <laughs> oh i'm not bragging on myself here baby but there's no one else there's no one else but you Choke no joke, I'm here. You know what it is. Truth be told all day, every day, even on a holiday, even on your birthday. Shout out to all the Virgos out there. You know, Libra season's on the way. All right? So, choke no joke. Uh, I just want to get into this uh, Dawn Richards thing. Y'all seen I've been reading the transcripts i'll get to the next part of it i guess that would be part three for us or at least to my loyal uh viewers in here you know what i mean shout out to everybody that's a member my membership gang to lisa renee you know my moderator gang tasha rain you know what i mean shout out to the loyal Viewers like Bigger BX in the building, you know what I mean? Uh, AC, uh, Kareem Smiggity, uh, Dipset Forever, Fatima B, CC Crippen, uh, Michelle Jensen, uh, Shard, you know, all of the usual suspects, you know what I mean? Y'all know who y'all are, you know. My oh, my man Paul, my brother Paul, always look out for me. You know what I mean. And all y'all that donate, I appreciate y'all who donate, cause y'all don't know how it is out here in these YouTube streets. It's hard for a pimp. Yeah, but so those who uh, appreciate the work and send cash apps at Choke No Joke, of course, I appreciate you. All right. Um, Getting into the, the, the Dawn uh, Richards lawsuit with Diddy. I know a lot of y'all don't like the fact that I, I give an opinion on, you know, some of these situations with some of these people that, you know, uh, put in these lawsuits and become victims after you know, X amount of, t they, they don't claim victim at the time of the, at the time that they go back and say they were a victim. And that's the only thing I have a problem with. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these people, when they were in a lawsuit where they claim they were victims, the stuff that they claim in that, where they was victimized, they don't have no police reports. They don't, they didn't take no type of action you know, whether it was street justice or government justice, there, there's no justice. They, they not seeking justice. And for me, justice don't have to always come through financial gain. And, and in, in this case, you know, Dawn Richards, her case, to me, it feels like, you know, 
financial gain for the money that she couldn't have got and then she see uh cassie get all this money or you know which she uh may have perceived as money or because i'm thinking at this point she's definitely talked to cassie because her lawsuit um feels like uh cassie kind of helped her uh allegedly in some of these incidents because I just can't see a person, you know, like Dawn, who sat there and watched Cassie get all this abuse and would still want to deal with the man that she seen physically abuse this girl. Like, to me, it, it, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you sit there and watch somebody uh, get abused? Like, uh, it's like working for uh, being on the same label with Tina Turner. You know what I'm saying? You seeing Ike whipping her, abusing her verbally, all this stuff, and you still want to stay on this label? Like, you want to still work with Ike? knowing that he's capable of beating on women and, and things like that. Like, why? I just, it, please tell me why. Like, why? So I'm not, I'm not, and you know, a lot of y'all in the comments are saying, oh, for money. Some of y'all say that, oh, she was, she had fear, she was scared, choked. She's seeing how Diddy is beating on, on Cassie. So she don't want to get beat, choked. She don't want to get beat like that. So, you know, it's fear. And, that, you know, fear make people don't want to say nothing and stick around. You know, she had a career. She had a family, choke that, that she had to take care of. So, you know, choke. you shouldn't, you know, I, I can understand why she didn't say nothing and why she kept working with Diddy, you know. But me, I'm sorry, y'all. I just, uh... I'm coming on this side because this dude got his dog and I don't want to be uh, nowhere near it. So I'm moving to this side since they feel like they need to come over here where I'm filming to play with their goddamn German Shepherd. So I'm going to move back here. I hope y'all don't mind. And I'll talk over here. So, um, yeah, like, like, and, and the majority of Dawn Rich's testimony in this grand, I mean, in this lawsuit is all about Cassie. It's all about Cassie. Like, 75% of it is about Cassie, 25% of it, 25% of it is about herself. And I, I just, like, she went to Diddy. She went through making of the band and got allegations when she was at making of the band. Left making of the band and then went to Diddy Dirty Money. Got allegations towards him and Diddy Dirty Money. And then when a couple of years ago, when Diddy was talking about rebooting and making it a band, she sending him text messages and stuff talking about she want to be down. And, and Diddy's son, King Combs, he exposed her on Instagram. He straight up exposed her. They took all her, her text messages and DMs and stuff that she was hitting Diddy, um, talking about that reboot of the making of the band, how she was down to get back down and let her know what's up, just that. Like, why would you want to go back a third time? So let, let's just say that he did, they do, they do the reboot. And all this stuff didn't happen. You tell me you'd have went back and worked with him again. Come on, Dawn. And that's what I'm talking about. But people are going to sit here and, and, and overlook the fact that she was willing to go work with him for a fourth time. But now she got the lawsuit out 
And like some of these people gotta take accountability, man. And for me, I don't feel like Dawn's taking accountability. You know what I mean? I just don't. So with that being said, um, I'm gonna get back to Dawn. I'm gonna read it all the way through because everybody say, oh, Choke, you got, you got to keep reading. You got to see where Neo and uh, Usher and uh, was there and, and Diddy punched uh, Cassie and they didn't do nothing. Why are you just talking about Dawn? Okay, Neo, Usher is an isolated incident in all of Dawn's lawsuit, right? Now, I don't even know if any of this is true, but if Diddy, I mean, if Usher and, um, if Usher and Neo were sitting there and Jimmy Iovine and they saw Diddy do this, then as men, they punks. Simple as that, they punks, right? But that's one incident, one isolated incident with them all being there, if they even saw that. That don't mean they saw, they knew that that was continuous abuse. Dawn, you, this ain't the, the, your first rodeo with them. You know what I'm saying? This ain't your first rodeo with them uh, seeing domestic violence in the relationship. So you yourself, that should have been the destroyer that broke the camel's back if he could do it in front of them. But it is what it is, man. Like I said, I'm going to continue reading it all the way out. I'm going to see how much more is there any more allegations because as of yet, I have not seen uh, her say anything as far as Diddy uh, having sex with her or drugging her. And then she's sitting there talking about she sit, she's sitting there watching orgies and stuff and she just ran in her room and locked the door and, and put the furniture in front of the door because she seen Diddy have, and his celebrity friends having sex with all these girls. And she just ran in her room and locked the door. Why didn't you leave? Why didn't you leave? You thought that you was going to wake up and everything was going to be gone and over? Like, why didn't you leave? And this is what I'm talking about. Some of these people got to take accountability. And I don't feel like she's one that's taking accountability for a person that went to make another band, said she was mistreated, went through, and then went back to him and got with Danny the Kane, got mistreated, and went back to him and did Diddy did Dirty Money and got mistreated, and here ready to go to do the reboot. But I will continue to finish Dawn's... Uh, lawsuit you know and uh at the end of it i might have a change of heart but right now i feel like she's not taking no accountability and she kept going back to diddy even though he was this monster but like king combs exposed on you can't be saying all that and then be talking about you want to deal with the person again you know what i mean take that choke no joke i'm out